Hello my wolf pack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Mudsdale. Now Mudsdale it was introduced in Generation 7. It has really good attack, really good defense and really good HP. So it works really well as a physically defensive wall. Its special defense is not terrible so it means it can live a few hits but its speed does leave something to be desired. Now I've got two generic sets for you today and one Dynamax set. So we're just going to jump straight in. Now the first set for Mudsdale I have is a Stealth Rock set. Set, um, a setting up set ideally for um, supporting your team later on in the game. Now I will tell you that Toxic is on this set. Toxic is a transfer move so if you are wanting to use this Mudsdale you will have to transfer it from Generation 7 um, into Generation 8 with the Toxic um, on it. Essentially, the idea here is to set up your Stealth Rocks in the first turn. Um, you've got leftovers on there to uh, basically heal yourself up because the, that's the only access you have to healing on this set and you've got stamina as the ability so stamina is a really really cool ability basically if it gets hit by a physical attack the defense increases by one stage so you could have a plus six defense stat um, and be really really bulky on the physical side obviously um, it doesn't do much for your special defense but it can work really well as a defensive wall so Stealth Rock, I've already explained, Toxic can start racking up damage and start forcing some switches, which can be really, really handy. Earthquake is a powerful um, attack type move, um, boosted by the stab of the ground type, which is really, really good, so 1.5 times damage. And then Heavy Slam, because Mustel was a fairly heavy Pokemon, um, and Heavy Slam can hit a couple of other Pokemon uh, really nicely. EVs, I've gone for Max Attack and Max uh, defense with an impish nature, so more defense and less special attack, and four EVs in attack. So yeah, this thing ideally is more defensive. It's not going to be uh, necessarily sweeping, but it can do um, because of that attacks that being so high. Um, it can do a lot of damage. Now the second set I've got again is a Stealth Rock set. Uh, but this one is slightly different. Again, it's got Toxic on it, but you could replace Toxic with something like Heavy Slam if you wished. Um, that is up to you. This is just options that you have with Musdale. So, leftovers again. I've got Own Tempo as the ability here. Now, Own Tempo, um, the Pokemon cannot be confused and is immune to Intimidate. So, um, yeah, it's ideal with a couple of moves actually able to confuse you. Um, and not being intimidated, allowing your attack stat to still be pretty high. Now, this is a specially defensive set. Um, you've got Stealth Rock, which I've already explained. Raw, uh, which whilst it has the minus priority, so everything else will go first um, if you're in singles or doubles. You can Raw, get that Pokemon out, and then get another Pokemon in and have that Stealth Rock hit them for quite good damage. And breaks things like Sashes as well. And you've got that natural bulk as well that allows you to be able to live some of those hits. Uh, I've gone for Earthquake as a powerful ground type attack because it's boosted by stab and hits a lot of different things. Um, you do need to be cautious about flying types with this, but if you've roared them in, if you've got the Stealth Rock set up, then you're going to have less to worry about. Obviously, you'll then have to switch out, but you will have done some work. EVs, I've gone for max HP and max special defense with a careful nature, so more special defense and less special attack, and four EVs in attack. So the idea here is that you're... Uh, bulky on both your defense and special defense um, to allow to take hits so you can then roar them out and get a different Pokemon in. And the last set we have is a Dynamax set. Now we're holding the Choice Band. If you didn't know, uh, when you Dynamax, your Choice Band is not active. So normally Choice Band would boost your attack by 1.5 times um, and lock you into a specific move. But when you're Dynamax, that is not happening. So you're not being boosted and you're also not locked into a move. Now, what I would recommend when you're Dynamaxing is going for Close Combat, which will become Max Knuckle. I'd recommend going for that three times because that will boost your attack stat by one stage each time. You have also got Earthquake and Iron Head there, which can raise up your defense and special defense as well um, using their max moves. Um, and that can work really well for you as well if you want to become a bit more bulky. But I definitely would recommend raising up your attack stat at this point. Um, this would work quite well in a trick room scenario, um, but more so in doubles because you wouldn't really have the opportunity um, to set up and then start sweeping uh, with the amount of time that you would have with trick room. 
Once you are back to a your normal form, um, you obviously do need to pick a specific move. So we've got Close Combat, Earthquake, Iron Head, and Rock Slide here. Just hit a variety of different things. Obviously, Rock Slide hitting the flying types for super effective damage. Um, Iron Head can hit things like Rock types. It can hit things like uh, Fairy types um, and do pretty good damage to them as well. Uh, but you do have to be cautious about what Pokemon are still left on the field. So if you go for Close Combat and they've got Ghost types, that could be quite an issue for you, or if you go for Earthquake and they've got Flying types, again, could be quite an issue. I've got Inner Focus here. Um, essentially, Inner Focus means you cannot be made to flinch, so if they try and come in and flinch you, that's not going to happen. And also, you're immune to Intimidate. Uh, this is really, really beneficial because you do not want your attack stat being lowered, because um, they could then just switch in, switch out, and lower your attack stat gradually, which would cause a lot of issues. EVs, max HP and max attack, with an adamant nature, some more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. That is all I have for Mudsdale, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.